Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's about that time. Let's go take that walk and see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. We're going to do another one in the Star Hero series, uh, the Double Base series, uh, if you will. This is their Mocha Double Chocolate Stout. And all these beers they sent me for, this is the third one in the series. I have one more left in there, which is a Chipotle. Uh, hoping it's going to have a little heat to it. Uh, the, one we, the last one we did, the Peppermint, uh, not so much peppermint. Very subdued, very easy drinking kind of transitional. Uh, the uh, peppermint was not overpowering and the chocolate notes were not overpowering. Uh, I was kind of hoping for a peppermint patty in the glass and it didn't live up to that. So let's see what the mocha version of this brings. And uh, this is still the same ABV, 7.8%. I don't have the IBUs on this particular one. Uh, they sent me a little cheat sheet here card. It's been laminated and I will say Bittersweet and roasted aromas arise from cocoa additions while coffee and chocolate notes lead to a smooth finish. So, uh, and, and Star Hill does some really tasty beers, but they do a lot of transitional beers, guys. They're trying to get the macro lager drinkers over into something with a little more taste. Uh, but uh, they, don't, they don't do a whole lot of big impressive beers in my opinion, uh, something for the seasoned craft beer drinker. They're, they're, they're looking to try to get more people off of the Bud Miller Coors kick and into something with a little more with a little more flavor with better ingredients. So hopefully this will have a little bit more chocolate notes in it since it's uh, mocha uh, in this or some coffee notes or something like that. So let's see what this one brings to the table. Uh, I don't have a commercial description here, and I don't have one on rape beer, uh, I don't think. I mean, look again. Uh, it has the exact same thing I just read off their card. So, we've gone through that. So, without further ado, let's jump into this one. And while I do, I will tell you what the food pairings are. But just going to be pretty, pretty close to what all the food pairings are for this style. It's 7.8%. I don't consider it's a stout. I don't consider it an imperial or a double till it gets to 8%. That's just the way I feel about it. So, uh, here we go. And like I said, uh, we're going we're gonna to stand this up and see what we get. Cheese is a buttery, brie, good Havarti Swiss. Goes well with chocolate dishes, digestive, meat, beef, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. Glass fried a pint back and tumbler snifter, oversized wine glass. I got my favorite snifter today, the solid beer glass. Says they're going to be solid for a long period of time. And just like the peppermint and the regular double base, it doesn't pour much of a head. Uh, if it was a 10, 11, 12 percenter, yeah, I see that big ABV beer a lot of times don't pour a lot of head. I would expect a little bit more. The carbonation is a little lacking on this as far as I'm concerned. Uh, over into the light, it is pretty much the same malt base. A little bit of red ruby mahogany color down here on the thin part of the glass. Looks very uh, similar to the other two that I've done so far. So let's get it to the nose. Rich roasted malt. I am getting a slight hint of some coffee notes in there. So uh, I don't think it says mocha. Uh, I don't know if they've actually used any coffee. I haven't got that information. It doesn't say that on the cheat sheet from them. But I am getting a little bit of coffee notes on this one, unlike uh, the peppermint and the regular double base. It smells pretty good. It really does. It's got a nice aroma. 
And like I said, I am getting coffee notes, uh, rich roasted malt. Not a lot of chocolate notes on the nose. Maybe I'll get a little bit more on the taste. So let's dive in and see what we got. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Jack, and everybody at Star Hill. Very nice aroma. I am very pleased with the aroma. Definitely some coffee notes on this, guys. It doesn't tell me that they've used any kind of coffee. I don't see how they can get this much coffee taste without putting some kind of coffee in it. And it does not tell me that. Even though it says mocha. Yes, it does. I just read this and I don't even remember. A minute ago. Bittersweet and roasted aromas arise from cocoa dishes while coffee and chocolate notes lead to a smooth finish. It does have coffee listed there, but it doesn't tell me that they use coffee. I would pretty much say they would have to to get this much coffee notes. And it's there on the, on the aroma and on the taste. Mm. The coffee is overpowering the chocolate, guys. Very nice coffee notes on this. And with that being said, this may be one of the versions you would not want to sell her because this coffee notes may fade over time. So, on um, this particular one, I would say you probably want to drink it pretty fresh within six months or so to get those big coffee notes that, that they're wanting you to have. So, and I'm definitely getting them on the nose and on the taste. So, uh, very nice. I am going to, uh, unlike yesterday's or, or uh, beer that we did the... Uh, Peppermint version. The peppermint was kind of subdued. The coffee in this one is not subdued. Uh, I'm getting those big notes. Very nice. Very tasty. This probably, even though 7.8%, which it doesn't drink like a 7.8%, it drinks like a 5 or a 6% alcohol. Super well hidden. Tells me it's a well made beer. Might be a good breakfast uh, stout. Yeah, as long as you're not going to work after you drink a, almost a 8%er. Uh, very nice. Uh, so far, as far as I'm concerned, this is the best one so far out of the other two that we've had. And I, like I said, I still got the Chipotle to do, but to, I like this one. The, the coffee notes are, are standing out more than the peppermint did and more than the chocolate did on the double base. So, Well, let's right out of the fridge, 40 degrees. Let's uh, sip on it for a while and see what we end up with. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Big coffee notes on this. Uh, very impressed with the coffee that I'm getting on this one. Uh, very smooth, very easy drinking. Not a lot of, not a whole lot of chocolate on it. For something that's double base, uh, I think they could use a little more chocolate on it. I said that on the peppermint review. Uh, for something that's got big chocolate, double base chocolate, I was expecting a little more chocolate notes on the beers that I've done so far. So, uh, I think they could use a little more chocolate malt. Uh, it's just my two cents, just my opinion. I'm not the head brewer or, or anything like that, but uh, coffee notes are definitely there on the aroma and on the taste on this one. So, I am impressed with this one uh, more so than I was with the peppermint and the regular double base version. Like I said, we still got one more, the Chipotle. Hopefully, we'll get a little heat uh, from the peppers on that one. But this one has definitely got a nice coffee presence. So uh, a little more impressed with this one than I have from the two previous ones. Coffee is almost espresso. Uh, big time. I mean, it's uh, it's in the whole front seat. It's taking up all the, it's taking up the whole front seat. Big time coffee notes. Very impressive. And uh, if, if it was me, I would have coffee. Double chocolate coffee stout. Uh, but the coffee is a little subdued, guys. The coffee is is there, but the chocolate is so subdued. The coffee is overpowering in this one. That's why I'm saying I think I can use a little more chocolate malt. Or maybe use some cocoa nibs or something like that in it to get that, that chocolate notes up there with the coffee. Tasty though, final choice. I 
very nice coffee stuff. Alcohol is super well hidden. Tells me it's a well made beer. Getting the coffee notes. Bottom line, I am getting the coffee on this one. Super easy drinking. I mean, if you didn't know any better, you would think this is a 5 or a 6 percenter. About 7.8 percenter. So, could be very easily a weekend breakfast beer. Or a nice beer to have uh, with some coffee or coffee cake. Uh, yeah, uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is the best one so far. Like I said, we got one more to do from these guys in this series. Uh, but this one, uh, B Plus 89. And it does have the bright blue bottle on date 11, it looks like 11, 9 of 17 on this one. Uh, very enjoyable. Very, very enjoyable. If you're a copy fan and you're into the darker beers, uh, a great one to pick up and give it a try. But I think this is, comes into like a, their winter mixed pack, I'm not sure, because uh, these were sent to me, I didn't buy it, uh, but, but like I said, uh, I'm impressed with the, the coffee that I'm getting from this one, chocolate, and, and not so much, uh, I think it could could use a little either chocolate malt, or some cocoa nibs, or something like that, in, uh, in the uh, dry hopping process, or, or whatever, uh, but like I said, uh, 89 for me, uh, very tasty. I enjoyed it. Uh, over to Beer Advocate, uh, just like uh, the peppermint version. Nobody, it's brand new beer, and nobody has commented on this one yet. So it's brand new. And over to Untap for our final check in, they have it at 3.94. That's, to me, I don't consider it an A beer until it gets to the four category, but you have to grade these guys' uh, rating on a curve because they don't do any fives. Uh, so this like I'm giving it, this borderline B plus, A minus on this. So uh, with, that, with it not being a 4, I'm going to say B plus, and that's where I'm giving it. Uh, very tasty. Uh, like I said, the best one out of that 4 pack so far. So uh, we got one more to do. So y'all stay tuned. I may even do it tomorrow. Uh, not sure yet. Uh, beer mails show up all the time. and I got one from my brother Rico today. Had, uh, three beers in it, and uh, uh, I may go ahead and, and and grab that one out instead of jumping into his beers uh, and, and get these uh, four series wrapped up. So, if you've had this one from Tar Heel Brewery, this is their double base mocha double chocolate stout. I don't know if I would call it double chocolate. Uh, the chocolate is not quite up to being called double chocolate. Maybe double base mocha chocolate, not double chocolate. I'm not getting all that chocolate, not to be called a double chocolate. So, still pretty tasty. So if you have, let me know what you think, guys. Till we meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.